There's one, one final question I want to ask you, though, about the sci-fi uh, channel. When you sold to USA Network, why did you sell? And did you ever feel later that you'd sold too early, which is the schadenfreude of many an entrepreneur? Um, it, it was quite a bit of money, and we felt um, that um, competition could still develop from a large media company. Um, and the programming at the level that we wanted it was beyond our capabilities and reach. And yes, we regretted it. It was very hard for us to watch it today. No, I can watch, I can watch it. I'm just fine with it. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> But we had, and I'll just finish this up but by saying we had um, an incredible experience. We launched the channel, and it was at the Hayden Planetarium. Was that? It was at the Hayden Planetarium yeah, where, in New York, and Leonard Nimoy turned the switch on. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. So at the table, after four years of working so hard to create this vision, this dream, we had on one side of us the widow of Isaac Asimov, and on the other side of us the widow of Gene Roddenberry. They had both passed away right before the channel had been launched. And, and I will share with you that when that, that switch, and it's very ceremonial, but there's a switch that goes down that you know, starts the juice going. It, it said that the sci-fi channel will be forever dedicated to the memory of Isaac Asimov and Gene Roddenberry. So that's something that will live on uh, forever. And as a result of that, as a result of that, there is a commitment to the type of programming that will be played on the Sci-Fi Channel. And you know, Sharknado may not be your favorite, but you know, there are people out there that really like that. Um, but it, it's it's um, it sparked something in an audience. And I'm an entrepreneur. We're entrepreneurs. It's all about changing the landscape. That's what gets us dreaming and, and making a reality.